Okay guys, so Christmas is fast approaching and I'm not someone who always does my house over but I decided that this year I want to do over my living room. It's a little bit messy now but the general is aesthetics of the place really isn't bad. Um, right here is an entrance area. I've included it because I think I might do something to this area as well. So what I did is to separate the sofa set and put one of the small chairs right here. Um, but my area of focus will be this general living room space. Now, last year sometime I had purchased these as chair covers. I think I might keep them as chair covers for this Christmas. The only thing is that I might just use them on the reverse side instead of on the green side because the green won't work with my space. But to cut down on costing, I'll be trying to do as much DIY as possible. So, um, I'm not sure what the aesthetics are, um, will be like. I don't know if I can call it a little bit of, a little bit eclectic. But I know I want to infuse a little bit of that African vibes. Now, the project that I will be sharing with you guys um, in this video is actually me redoing this lamp. Um, and this is actually a lamp I had wrapped with fabric. It's a yellow lampshade beneath it. Um... But I'm going to try, hopefully I can rip this off without damaging without damaging the lamp. Um, but you'll see what it is that I have planned. These walls have been painted for eight years. Um, I'm going to put them back in the natural, which is this almost creamy looking color, just so I won't have to paint the rest of the space. So between now and weekend, my father, my brother comes to help. I will be repainting that wall. But this wall here, I want to change into a gallery wall. So the plan is to paint it in gray, and then I will create a gallery using different frames, including some of my African artworks. I'm going to keep those, but I'm going to spray the frames in white. And I'm going to also be using a collection of black and white pictures. Although I might change these paintings, that one right there, and this one right here, I actually painted. I actually painted that one at the top as well. This is actually just a print, so I'm not sure what I'm going to include, but I know I will reuse those three frames, but I'm going to spray them in white, and this wall will be my gallery wall. These curtains are perfectly fine. They are absolutely gorgeous, and they are literally over 10 years old. So the wall stripping, so that's one of the reasons I have to paint the wall. Um, but I'm looking forward to see how the piece transforms. I had wanted to paint the bottom of this, this part that has a red looking oak in white. Um, this is actually a top that I had added using some board and some nails and I had, because it wasn't wide enough to hold a television, I decided I was not buying a new piece. So I think I might spray the bottom part or paint the bottom part in white if I get the time. So we'll see. So keep tuned guys. Um, for my renovation, this will probably be about a three or four part video. Alright, so I've started by stripping off the fabric of the lampshade. I bought this years ago, not because I liked the ugly yellow color, but I loved, I loved the shape of the lamp base. And it was very cheap, so I decided to buy it. So I'm going to see if I can rough it up with some sandpaper a little bit and use this Rust-Oleum paint and primer in one that has a gloss. Because I, I like the gloss um, to spray it. Hopefully it takes and I'll try to get it as smooth as possible. Now this is an idea that I came up with. I'm not sure if it will work. So let us see <laughs> if it does. This is actually a DCF shelf liner. But because the bulb that I the bulb that I use in it is LED, I think it will be able to resist the heat. Um, and I like how it looked almost like a burlap, almost like a touch. And I thought for the modern African theme, it would work absolutely well with that white, that white lamp base. So wish me luck. Let's see how it goes. Now, the first thing you'd want to do is to tape off all the areas that you don't want the spray paint to touch. In my case, um, with this lamp, it wasn't a lot of areas for this lamp. So it was just right here where the hardware is. I didn't tape the cord off because I'm spraying the device white. So it really doesn't matter if it gets on the cord since the cord is already white. And of course, remember to give your spray a good shake. And ensure that your nozzle 
of the spray can is actually lined up with that black dot and you want to because this is um that ceramic finish even though i sanded it it really didn't do a lot of difference so really i'm hoping that the paint will stick so just to ensure that i can get as even a coat as possible i'm going to spray from about six inches away and i'm going to just do very light coats very light coats And I'll probably end up, end up doing, hush, this is Jamaica guys, we have a lot of insects. <laughs> but um, I'll probably end up doing probably about two or three of these coats on each lamb. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the finished product. Alright, so this is, oh, these are the lamb shades I'm out of breath. <laughs> After applying two to three coats, I would say that I'm pleased. It's relatively smooth there's there's some amount of imperfection but it's very difficult to see so i'm really not stressing it um already it's looking a million million times better so now on to the lampshades now the first thing you want to do is get some scrap paper um i'm using a uh, some leftover from a gift wrapped and what you're going to do is use this paper to make the template for the adhesive paper um, that you want to use to cover the lampshade. Now, what I like to do is start by using the seam. And I line up the seam with the end of the paper. Guys, I'm filming by myself, so please forgive if there's any inconsistency. So that's what I start by doing. And then I'll roll the paper along until the seam ends up back on the floor and what I'll do is that as I roll the paper I'm going to be let me see, using my pencil alongside both sides the front the bottom of the lampshade and the top of the lampshade to mark the shape of the paper and then I'm gonna cut it out I'm going to do it off camera since I'm filming alone and then I'll show you what the finished template looks like my lines are drawn and what I'll do, I'll just eyeball it and cut about an inch or two outside the line, still following the shape, just to give myself a little overhang to tuck under the lampshade so it's not evident that I'm um, where the paper ends. Sorry, right here got wet because I'm in the kitchen and so I used a cookie tray to mark it that was not fully dry. And what I did is at the end of the lampshade, I connected it with a line and the same rule will apply. I will cut about an inch away just to give myself some wiggle room. All right, so here is the finished template and I'm going to go ahead and trace two copies of this onto the adhesive paper and that will be, it should be enough to cover the lampshade. I'm hoping that the yellow doesn't show beneath the shade or at least it doesn't show much. Um, so here's wishing. If it does show much then I might have to go on the inside and line the lampshade before doing it. I didn't want to spray paint the lampshade first because I still want um, some light to escape the shade. So let's see how it goes and hopefully this paper is enough to do two templates. Okay, so this is a template. Um, as you can see, because I'm not using wallpaper, ideally this would be much better if you have wallpaper, but here in Jamaica, wallpaper is not as accessible. And where it is available, it is three times the cost of um, what you can get it for in the States. So I have to be using an adhesive shelf liner, so it's not wide enough. So what I try to do is to fit the curve of the um, template as much as possible so that if I have to do any extension or add another piece of adhesive paper then I won't need to I'll add it to where the seam is where this is so it will be to the wall and it won't show but if you can't get a paper that's wide enough then of course that would be better but if not hey we're going to make this work okay so what I've done is I have um, probably use a line to draw it about an inch on my adhesive paper and what I'll do is use that as my guide 
to wrap in the lampshade. So I'm going to line up that line with the um, the line, the seam on the lampshade. And of course, I'm going to be using my debit card or credit card or whatever hard card that you have to press the adhesive paper onto the lampshade as I go around just to ensure that it's flat and as bubble free as possible. That's gonna be the hardest part. Okay guys, so here's the wrapped lampshade and I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to put the entire thing together um, and show you guys how it looks, but I am so pleased. The only thing is because it's adhesive, I don't find it to be super strong. What I'm going to do is to put apply some Mod Podge over it to ensure that it has a little bit of a clear, harder coat and it will last me as long as it can. I am so pleased from far you would think this is woven, something made of burlaps or something and it's just beautiful and it works perfectly into this modern theme, um, kind of modern country. <laughs> Okay, at this point it's no longer a theme, but it's a little bit of a modern feel, a little bit of a country feel, infused with just the right amount of Africa. Um, and I think this is going to be perfect with the white um, base. It's going to pop, and I can't wait to show you guys the end result. I'm going to mod put it off camera, wait on the base to dry, and come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, um, I know I said I was going to show you the mud podge but i figure a lot of jamaicans especially um those who don't travel um might not know what mud podge is so this is mud podge this i got at the dollar tree when i went to connecticut for the summer but it's also available at fontana pharmacy here in jamaica i've been speaking to the guys at the mandeville rapid true value seeing if they would be willing to bring in this and larger and the larger versions plus this one is matte they also have the gloss ones and there are other versions that i was hoping that they would bring in but that is not has not yet happened so if anybody from rapid watches this video please or anyone who can tag someone who works there who's in management please do because you know the the quantity there was global is increasing and mud podge is going to be very significant to DIY wires and this is just a little old felt brush I've put a little bit of the mud podge in to a container and I'm just going to literally just put some on this and apply it over my lampshade especially the areas that I um, had to do a little bit of patching and here is the finished product I am super 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 proud the yellow is not peeping through and just to give the lamp shade a more finished look i just took some twine and uh, please excuse my nails but hey i'm spray painting and i'm about to paint a gallery wall in my living room so it's understandable so this is about um i went around four times with a small jute or twine a jute rope or twine and this is the finished product with the white base. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and share. Please help my channel to grow. It will motivate me to share more of these DIY videos. Um, and keep posted. My next DIY video up should be me, um, the completed or the process of doing a gallery wall in my living room. Once more, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.